that I go around and I photograph special needs children. Um, I want to bring out their smiles so everybody can enjoy their smiles. And what gave you the idea to do something like that? Um, basically, growing up with um, special needs um, kids in my family, uh, cousin with cerebral palsy, and um, nephews with actual autism, you know, it was always hard for them to, you know, get out and run to a studio, professional photography studio, and take pictures. So I always wanted to give back my entire life, and um, I came up with this idea of Just Smile Project. Um, I actually bought a truck and converted to a mobile um, photo studio. And um, I go around, I actually go to people's homes, uh, make it a lot easier, hassle-free for them to just come out. And I have a lift on the truck, brings the kids right into the truck, and I photograph them. It's an amazing truck. I actually mm -hmm. had the pleasure of walking through. We did some filming mm -hmm. last week. And to, I can only imagine the joy and happiness that you bring to so many kids and families because they probably might not have the opportunity to do something like that. Right, yeah, you know, smiles, everybody smiles, you know, as you know, you smile, you feel good. That's right. Um, a smile can make a bad day turn into a, an, an amazing day. That's right. And, you know, besides, you know, the kids getting the joy out of it, actually being like a model shoot, um, I get the excitement as well, just seeing them getting excited. Right, it's amazing. Well, we have such a loaded panel here. Flora from Gift of Life USA, talk about your work that you've done. First of all, on the love train, it feels like a lot of love in here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of love. Yeah, well, it's hot in here, that's for sure, but there's a lot of love, and you guys right. bring that love. Yes, and it's special also. And then, you know, we have somebody who puts a smile, or we have somebody who grows a tree, and we are here to give <laughs> gifts to special needs. That's so right. it's all very extra special. That's right. And we have been giving a lot to the students um, for in terms of scholarships with, for special needs. And we have been raising funds for autistic students going to college. So, and we also have been helping special needs entrepreneurs grow their business as well. So there is a lot of special talent that we are supporting at Gift of Life USA. Come on and join us. That's and, right. uh, you know, let's join the train together. That's right. I like that. I like that. You had a major, major <laughs> event a few weeks ago at the Huntington Hilton. It was, it was awesome. And there were so many great people that were there, the uh, uh, dancers, and everybody had you know, uh, working through a challenge, but they perform like they were pros. Absolutely. The drum that performed, I mean, that was a special needs drum. Right. And they have been selected for World Championship. Right. And uh, we had Rachel Barcelona, who seems yes. to be a common friend. Yes, yes, she's and one of she's our youth heroes. an amazing singer. Yes. Amazing singer, yeah. And we also had our special needs entrepreneurs. I think we see them all the time. John Cronin, right. Brittany Siobhan, we see them all the time right. on all special needs occasions. So we had a lot of talent in there, and of course, not forgetting Kerry Magro, yeah. his latest book on autism. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, they are doing some wonderful work out there, and we all together form a very lovely community. And what gives you the passion for, along with your husband and your family, to do what you guys do? It, just the family conditions and uh, the family, uh, and also the stigma that we have seen around, you know, supporting the people with special needs right. that kind of brings the enthusiasm and says, no, we have to bring them out there and we have to support them and we also have to encourage their talent. Right, right. Amazing work. Sure. And we're going to uh, keep going yeah, down this train that. here. We have uh, Liliana and Rosario Cassio. And uh, Rosario, welcome to the show Thank again. You. What are you doing? Yes, I'm here a lot. Yeah, you've been here a lot. You're a, you're a superstar. And you're a youth yeah. hero. But talk about Rosario's Giving Tree. What do you do and why do you do it? Um, so it started last Christmas. Um, um, and I, I started this because I had the idea that I had so many stuff. And when I thought of that, I thought of the kids that didn't. And they couldn't really get stuff and couldn't spend the time with their family a lot so um so i wanted to give back to them because i have so much stuff but they really don't you know that's well said and, and you're nine years old right when yeah. is your birthday oh, september 19th okay, i want to make sure i memorize that because one day you will be 10 but you're only nine right now and you're yeah. giving back so much and i remember when we did something at Winthrop Hospital, I think that's the hospital you were born in. I don't know if you remember that day, but yeah. no, we remember that you remember the day a couple of months ago when you gave toys back. You had Santa Claus there, you had a, you had an elf, and you had family, and you were bringing the smile. You talk about smiles. You're bringing smiles to the kids' faces, but who were kind of stuck there on the unit there. Yeah, it was wonderful. And talk about how your parents and your mom. I know your mom's in the studio here. Help you along with this. Oh, so. My mom helps me because while I'm in school, I can't do all the work, so 
he, he really helps because he makes calls, he gets us into the hospitals, and stuff like that, really. And Mom, it doesn't get better than this, does it? No, it doesn't. Talk about your son's work in this when he first came to you with the idea of giving back. I mean, not just getting, he wants to give back. He wants to give back. It's the exact words were that he was going to tell Santa Claus that he didn't want anything this year. He wanted Santa Claus to bring the toys they were going to bring to him to other children in need. So we were very proud of him. Yes. Yeah, and I took that idea and I we ran with it. You ran with it. And one weekend we delivered 300 toys to two hospitals. Wow. And it was uh, Winthrop and what was the other Winthrop hospital? Winthrop and um, South Nassau Community, right. you know, I should say. And you have a big event coming up too that we're kind of partnering up with. Talk yes. about that event. We have a bit. fundraiser on June 25th at Russo's on the Bay. We're having dinner and a night of comedy and music. We have uh, two very funny comedians. Uh, we Harry have Carabas. Carabas and right. Matt Burke. We yes. also have uh, Robbie Rosen from American Idol. Yes. And we've been working very hard. We got so many prizes, uh, Yankee tickets, Mets tickets. We have a 55-inch screen TV. Today we got donated a Canon camera. So much, so many things that we're going to be raffling off that night. It's going to be a fun night. Everybody would like to come down. Yeah, tickets how, are on sale. How can people get tickets? Tickets are on sale on Eventbrite. Just search for Rosalia's Giving Tree. Uh, it's going to be a fun night. And all the Proceeds are going to go to uh, buy and deliver toys to St. Jude in t Memphis, Tennessee. Wonderful. And uh, I also have said Boys and Girls Club. Yes, Club. Club. yes it's, it's, it's amazing. Right. So we have Laura uh, Conroy on the phone there. She's from Glam Slam Productions. Laura, are you there? Thank you so very much for joining the Chapters Wrap here. We're loaded here in studio with so many great people, and you are a great person yourself. Talk about Glam Slam Productions. <clears throat> and what gave you the idea to do something like that? Because everybody here in the studio is giving back, and you're certainly doing that too. What gave you the idea originally? Well, you know what, I, I kind of tend to agree with you because when I, you were asked me, you were gracious enough to ask me and to kind of work along with your event, but before the event, you had um, several hair, you went, we went to a hair salon, you had hairdressers and makeup artists there, and when the folks came in, they were kind of like, you know, waiting for the haircut, they were not too emotional, but when they got did it up there with the hair and the makeup, they were glowing, this smile, that was like an unbelievable experience that I, that I witnessed, which was, I'll never forget. 